In today's video, we are going to bring back the boss of Street Fighter 4, number 15. Never call me by my number. My name is Seth, and I am unique. By the way, I'm going to be making them um, a full breakdown of it one by one because there's a limit to how much you can do for an avatar share, so let's get into it. So first off, we're going to start off with the preset. We're going to go with 18, the very last one for the body preset, and then we're going to remove all of the bo body uh, makeup that they have already set up. Now for the body color, I think I went back and forth a bunch of times because I wasn't sure what shade of blue to do. So I don't. So I at least went with like any of the bottom ones and also turned it up a little so he's like glowing in a way. But I, it kind of made him look like Doctor Manhattan. So whichever blue works for you, let me know which one you went with. Next, we're gonna just change his eyes a little. So we're gonna go to uh, Iris Two. And we're just gonna adjust it so that way we have like a black um, eye shape while also the iris is glow. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep these settings that I currently have for the eyes, but I'm just gonna change it. So I'm gonna go with the iris number four because I think that works a lot better for him. There we go, much better. Now I'm gonna go over to body portion presets and I'm gonna change them to 15. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, I don't know why I used it again, but I'm gonna make I'm gonna put the triangle upward in the center just so we can have more of a muscular body. Now of course I'll also add the yin yang symbol because that's like his signature look as well, because like he has it on his stomach. So we're gonna add that. We're going to position it in the bottom as well as we're gonna give it we're gonna scale it high, make it white, and give it a glow effect. But not too much so that the yin yang symbol isn't showing but that should be enough though now i felt like making his like design with uh, just like the yin yang symbol wouldn't like fully work so i actually went with his fancy outfit that he actually had from street fighter 4 so we're gonna head over to dripping style to pick up a few things we'll be needing all right so we're gonna grab this investment vest right here which i already have by and of course these pants right here and the oxfords now that we have those let's head over to the urban park parking lot and pick up the leather gloves that we've been picking up for a lot of these other videos and of course you're going to want to dye them brown oh i also i think i have to fix them a bit because um i think i have two sets of gloves on so i'll have to like fix that but or i should be fine but now we're going to go into his move set. So a lot of his moves that he actually has are actually in the game. But I also wanted to give him some of the unique moves. So I I, I went with Dalsim mainly because of the stretchy attacks he had as well uh, from Dalsim. So I if you let me know what you would choose for him but of course we take this teleport the sonic boom he had the shore yukin zangief's command grab and i wasn't sure what to do for like the leg kicks so i chose chun li um for to represent that attack if that's the correct one now lastly for his moveset the hardest thing was picking the super arts so because i wasn't sure what to use um to represent it because it's very hard because a lot of his a lot of the supers aren't similar to his so i went with jp's which utilizes psycho power and i think because like it it looks like he's utilizing the yin yang simple in a way i went with reuse level two but now that we have all of those put together let's put let's see this guy in action That's gonna do it let me know what changes you would have made to Seth's moveset and who else you want me to make thank y'all for watching and I shall see y'all in the next one